Adam's Film Reviews, The Irishman, 2019. It's over. They're all gone. Frank, it's time. It's time you say what happened. <laughs> Frank, I want you to meet my cousin, Russell Buffalino. Better watch, there's a lot of tough guys around here. Did he tell you? I'm not afraid of tough guys, are you? I didn't think so. I was one of a thousand working stiffs until I wasn't no more. You got a good friend here. You don't know how good a friend you got. Russell, he took a shine to me right away. After a while, he started giving me little things to do. I know you read a lot of things about me. I just want to say I'm sorry. I know I wasn't a good dad. I know that. I know that. I was just trying to, to protect all of you. From what? You didn't see what I see, what I've been through. Released on Netflix in 2019, The Irishman is the latest epic work by acclaimed filmmaker Martin Scorsese. Adapted by Stephen Zalian from the novel I Heard You Paint Houses by Charles Brand, The Irishman introduces us to Frank Sheeran, an elderly man played by Robert De Niro, as he recounts his days working for the mob in downtown Philadelphia. Soon enough, we're whisked away to the 1950s, where we find an impressively de-aged De Niro playing the younger Frank as a delivery driver, skimming off his cargo for a profit for a local gangster, introduced to Russell Buffalino, played by the wonderful Joe Pesci. Frank is introduced to mob boss after mob boss and yada yada blah blah blah. Oh my god. Martin Scorsese, in the words of King Missile, makes the best films. In The Irishman, he's told an epic tale spanning several decades, introducing dozens of characters and showing, as Frank sees it, the complexity and agony of living through and looking back at the choices he made as he murders, beats, threatens and negotiates his way through the dark and seedy underworld. It's wonderful. But Jesus, why does it have to be so long? It looks beautiful. It's well told. It's directed amazingly. The actors are wonderful. Perfect. Christ almighty, is there anything left to say? Oh yeah, it's boring. Sorry, let me repeat that. It's boring. Around about an hour and a half in, I started to feel distracted. The Irishman is a love letter to the mob films of Scorsese's past, and it's fine, it just isn't for me. So before I drone on for another 30 minutes as you gradually tire and sob and ache and wish for the end, allow me to whisk you away to... Adam's Film Reviews. What did Jack do? 2017? True love's flame Burns so bright It's love's delight Just released on Netflix, What Did Jack Do is a 17 minute short film written, directed, edited and starring the mad director himself, David Lynch. In this short, David Lynch plays the detective, his purpose to interview a talking monkey who's suspected of murder. The pair verbally duel for the length of the short, using common phrases, catchphrases and tongue twisters to argue their point as Jack, the monkey, protests his innocence and ignorance of the chicken he is said to love before breaking out into song about his love. I laughed virtually the whole way through. David Lynch's Twin Peaks are showing visibly here and with more than a dash of a razor head as well. As one reviewer put it on Rotten Tomatoes, what did Jack do is weird as hell and I just can't get enough of it. Put it up on Netflix and engorge yourself in the madness. It's wonderful. And more importantly, it's short. Yeah.